everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I do videos about business, home, and lifestyle. So if that is something you are interested in watching, then please consider subscribing down below. So, I'm very excited about today's video. So I've been working on my fairy garden for a while now and I've been collecting little figurines and little houses and little fairy stuff um, for the past few, maybe two years. Um, I haven't collected too much, but this year I'm going to get really into it because I'm going to have the time. So I went to Dollar Tree because the other day I saw that they had a bunch of beach themed fairy garden stuff. So I decided because I have a huge um, area for my fairy garden that I'm going to make a beach for the little fairy figurines. And that's what today's haul is. So I'm very excited to show you guys what I got. And then I'm going to show you guys me working on the fairy garden, which is going to be really exciting. And then my husband is actually working on his very own garden with a castle and dragon. And I'm not going to tell you too much because I'm going to go show you. It's amazing. So the first thing that I got was this seahorse. Um, I don't know if that if that hole is broken, but it was the only one that I got. But it's most likely going to be covered, so it's going to be fine. But I got this little rock. And for the water, I'm going to use these blue rocks. So I got, I believe, six packs of these, which should be fine because I'm not going to make it too big. But big enough for people to know that it's the beach. For the other side, um, we planted roses under another window that's in front of our house. And I got these lights. I've had these before and they shine really bright. So I got two of these to put next to the roses. Next for the ocean, fairy garden. I got this palm tree with, um, oh, it's not focusing, with the surfboard, this circle and then a little Hawaiian fairy dancer then I got this with um, what is that a door yeah a door to the beach a little surfboard and then a sign that says beach then we got some of these to put in the sand we have this little coral reef um, these little plants for under the ocean and then the sand bucket then I got this chair and then this sign that says beach welcome you know how when you go to the beach, when the tide comes in, there's like that white, um, what is it? It's like the, it almost looks like foam that comes from the ocean. I decided to get some white sand to make that little border thing that separates um, the water from the sand. So I got this. And that is everything that I got from my beach fairy garden. Um, they did have, I actually got all of these um, that belong for the beach except for the one that had a little bar and um and i think it was another welcome sign to the beach oh and then there was one more that was a lobster um it was like a bird that what is it maybe a seagull and a shell so there was two ocean packs that i didn't get um because the ocean in my fairy garden isn't going to be too big so i didn't want it want it to be too crowded so i chose the four packs the four packs that i wanted so i got the four packs the rocks for the water and then the little one with the seahorse and i will show you guys how i put everything on
show you where we put the roses. We got five roses. And then I put the sunflower over there. Another one over there. And then today at Walmart, we got this plant. And then I got this planter for it with that really nice design. Um, but we decided that we're going to put this plant in the backyard. So I'm going to get a plant similar to this to put in the vase to keep next to the door like that. And I got this watering can from Hobby Lobby. Then on this side, we have these plants. I'm still going to continue making this path um, throughout all the houses that I have on here. But back there I have like the spooky houses with the mushroom house. Here I have a little um, pine cone house. Then I have two mushrooms with the bench. And then here I have uh, like a um, like a rabbit house with some carrots, some bunnies, and the little chick on top of the house, and a little sign that says Bunny Crossing. And here I have a beehive house with a butterfly bench, and then some path. I'm going to fix the path because I'd rather it look like the one over there, but for now, this is what I have. And here I have a tree house with a fairy. And next to it I have a flower house with a teapot pink house, the fairy, and her little garden. Oh my knee. <laughs> and here I have a door and a gate. I think I'm going to move these somewhere else because I don't really like these here, but we'll figure it out later. And then here I have another house. And then this is where I made the beach. dragon warrior make the castle somehow this castle got flowers inside I never put flowers in there I don't know how a girl then have this two balls that are solar lights they do light up at night and that's pretty much I also put seats around or little tiny uh, flower seats hopefully they grow um, and then in the future I probably put a king seat over there with a queen if I find her. But so far I just gonna put the flowers right here. To be in to be having two in each side.
Wednesday and I did a little bit more shopping for my garden and I wanted to show you guys really quick before my camera dies the new things that I got. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I got this. It says Queen Bee um, for the fairy garden. I'm going to put ne this one next to the, um, what is it called? The beehive um, little fairy house that I have. So this was perfect for it. This, I got it from my kitchen. Um, to put in front of my window it says thankful it's gonna be really cute right there and then I got these two for my daughters um, because I bought myself a bigger one a yellow one and they keep taking it so I bought them each their own I got those at Hobby Lobby and then from the 99 I bought um, another container to organize things in my office i bought another one of these because it's 50 percent off because of easter um because easter is over i'm going really fast so that my camera doesn't die i got this um pineapple house and it actually lights up which is really cool um then i got some vitamins for the my daughters and then i got three of these lights beautiful lights they're gonna go perfect for my furry garden they're like little butterflies that light up their solar um in the jars so that is all that i got um these lights were $1.99 each the um this one was $2.50 because it's on special this this uh pineapple that i'm gonna put next to the beach was $3.99 the queen bee rock was um, I'm gonna have to check the receipt because everything was on special. So, um, it was $5.98 and then the little watering cans were $3.99. I'm not going to show, um, all this in the garden. I'm going to, I'm going to do it in the next garden video. I'm going to show you how everything went together. But thank you so much for following this process with me. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and always remember to stay jazzy.